Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you're all well. Welcome to <laughs> Welcome to France or should I say bonjour ça va? It's a lot warmer today than it was yesterday. We arrived yesterday lunchtime so the travel was minus six all the way down France so it's going to be about 10 degrees today. Got some beautiful blue skies and stuff. Didn't get much time to do anything yesterday than open the house and uh, trying to get the house warm. The wood burners are on and everything's kind of unpacked in there now. So really excited to get on with workshop number two. Not got around to putting any locks on this yet so when I leave it I just usually put a couple of coach bolts through with the impact driver. As I said on the last video I'm gonna probably put the window in first which is going here. So to do that I need to move all these this firewood and then at this side I've got all that firewood there which is ready to burn so I need to collect that move it near to the house and then maybe over the next day or two just move that over there which then leaves me a workable area I'm going to probably I guess the middle's about here so I'm going to get sort of the window in about there I'm going to make that one bigger I've actually got a bigger window to put in there or a pair of windows that came off the back of the house when I put the doorway in there a few years ago the two windows I'm going to put in here we actually found by the uh, rubbish bins in the commune somebody had thrown them out the double glazed which is actually more than we've got in the house I need to go timber shopping and buy some timber to frame the window out but as I said earlier I think I'm going to open this back up to let the light in as you can see I get the light middle of the afternoon when the sun's down in that bottom corner it's nice here so so it'll be nice to enjoy the light coming in the back here frozen water in there oh, wow it's that frozen technique <laughs> look at that ice tiles some people have probably got a lot of trouble making them <laughs> that's brilliant for about two or three years so this would probably cut down in about These are the windows. So look, they are approximately 760 wide and 980 tall. It's a shame I were hoping that it was going to be the same size. So they are the Pretty much the same width, 800 for the pair, but they're 1200 and they're a metre. It's a bit of a shame that, isn't it? We're hoping they were a bit the same size. Right, yeah. I'm 
just going to cut a little hole and let some light in so I can see better. Let's not get too giddy. I want to just at the moment leave something that I could just temporarily repair, but, but I can't help myself. So let's go and cut an hole in the back of the barn. Here's Johnny! Right then, what a load of rubbish. At least I can see now. I've got absolutely oodles and oodles of rubbish. Bits of old garden furniture, piece of swimming pool that's no longer with us. Got little offcuts of stud when I built the utility. I've got all the offcuts of the stone tiling that when I tile the inside of the house. That and this is the old wood burner from the inside of the house. Now I would love to make use of that in here. I don't know whether I will or even if I'm able to. That's, I do need to move that as I concrete the floor down here. All this is gonna to have to be cleared out, leveled. This side is 2.6 meters. Um, 2.5, nothing too much in it really, 100 millimeters. I quite fancy making that side the workshop. Leave this side here and then as I do things in there I can just move things across. I think I'm going to go and watch at some point Peter Millard's workshop tour because he's, I know his workshop is split into two parts. He's got his workshop and his storage area and I'm just wondering how his compares in size to this. Might just give me some visualization of what I want to achieve. Yes, back time I've got benches down here. Quite fancy a sort of a central bench to work on that I can like build things on rather than just a little bench that you only stand at one side of to sort of go about here. I can get rid of that, that's just got rubbish on it. Hello Gracie. Right Gracie, we made a bit of a mess now, I've got to put it all back together. Good morning, I just need to unload all the components I bought in the roof box from the small off workshop, the cupboards and the seat workbench. It's a very handy thing that roof box, as you can see I can get quite a lot in it. I've also brought my UK path guide jig guides. I'm thinking now that the next workbenches I'll build will be here rather than in the small off workshop. So. Uh, these have travelled with me. Right, I can take the roof box off now and I can go and get some timber. So I went down to the builder's merchant and I picked up three bags of cement and I picked up four lengths of 63 by 75, ensuring that I didn't buy the boomerang shaped ones. Good morning. It's a bit drizzly and a bit damp this morning, but it's, it's a lot warmer than it were, although sadly we've lost the blue skies. So I'm gonna to start to frame the window out. And now because it's so, it's so damp and could rain any time, rather than taking everything out of the barn and working from behind, I'm actually gonna break in from behind. Now I've made the small hole and then enlarge that hole and probably use that hole just for access. The hole needs to be a lot bigger than the actual window hole because I need to reframe in behind it. So uh, I'm going to take a few boards out. I've cleaned all the firewood away. Probably going to have to move this compost bin. I don't want to cut too low down. I want to keep this feature up here. 
and I'm probably so I'll probably have to put a window lint here so probably make the cut around here. It's a bit untidy at the moment but we'll trim that. There's an upright here and there's an upright here. So I can bridge across them two to frame out the window. So the windows are a thousand high. So it's not, that's going to have to go. So probably a bit down about there then. I can try and cut that down to that line and I can cut that post out. That's excellent because I bought three metre limbs. So. Okay, so <clears throat> as a pair, they're actually 760, or just over 30 millimetres. 30 millimetres, 30 inch. 760 millimetres. Need to leave them a little bit more than that. The good thing about these kind of windows are you can adjust them on the hinges. So I need to find. Oh, news flash. I need to find 760 millimetres across here, which is probably somewhere back here. Now I'm going to actually put another style in here because it's because this is not plumb, right? So I just put another piece in and plumb it. Then I can fill in with some of these. Not going to be seen because by the time I frame round it, it won't matter anyway. So by the time I frame round here, it'll be fine. So I need 760 plus, so that's 900. So I might actually, at the moment this is 900 wide. So I might just take it to about here and then if I cut this back there, which is great because that thing's right in the way, cut that back to there, I can put a vertical in, plumb it and then I'll just put an infill piece in here to plumb this in, it's out of plumb because I don't want out of plumb or else the windows won't close properly. So that's the next job, I need to, I'm going to have to just move this out of the way slightly so I can get my saw in to cut that back and then I can put a vertical piece in.
Okay, so for now, I'm gonna forget about the window a bit. Right now I'm getting ready to pour some concrete. Seeing I've got this opening now, I might as well use this to bring the barrow in with the concrete. So I'm gonna set something up sort of halfway and just concrete, hello Grace, and just concrete half of it. Yeah, so I need to tidy everything out in here, but I'll just leave this as it is. I've got some tarpaulins that I can just drape down overnight for a couple of nights. So, and then once I've got this concreted and the floor's in, I can then just close this back up. Obviously I've just got to close this bit up for the windows. The window will hang on this. This I'm gonna to have to build out so it's plumb so I can hang the other window on this. Obviously the French windows so they open inwards and then once they're on I'll just build out the outside with plant some pieces on around it to finish it off and form a rebate against the windows. So yeah the next bit's cleaning up. So I don't know whether you're enjoying these. I'm trying to edit this video slightly different to how I'd edit the ones in a small off workshop just because obviously I'm in such a bigger space and there's a lot more going on. I thought it might be nice to edit it as I go through and sort of share my thought process with you rather than just creating the video, editing it, putting some music over it and then voiceover. I thought I'd try and get away from doing that here just to distinguish between the two places really. So there we are, levelled up this hard court it was in here already, made a little dam from timber and laminate floor. I find laminate floor is brilliant for concreting against. So I'm going to pour some concrete in here now up to probably about three inch in depth. I've got a bit of rebar to drop in as I, as I finish it. There'll be a step there on that edge, but there is on the other side anyway. If I build it too far, I'll be running out of headroom. So, uh, so I'm not going to fill it all to the top. So there will be a step of a couple of an inch. I'll only concrete it up to that timber. And then once this is dry and set, then I can move that over to here. And uh, yeah, move all that rest of that rubbish. Like I said, I was going to have a look at Peter Millard's workshop tour. Peter said his workshop was 20 foot by 16 with that sort of dividing wall that divides his workshop to the storage area. So in theory, this is exactly the same length and four foot wider. The weather looks like it's still fine, so I don't know whether to get this pour done. Might give it a go. Probably take me two hours, maybe. That's half the floor done. It's actually turned into a really beautiful afternoon as well. I'm glad I decided to do it and not rely on the weather forecast. It said it was going to rain. I think I'm going to call this it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So we've got the old cut out. We've got the window partially framed and we've got half the floor done. So in the next video, I'll finish the floor and hopefully get the window fitted. I'm going to hang around a bit longer to float my concrete up. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said earlier, it's a slightly different editing format to what I usually do. So I hope it was okay. If you like it, let me know. If you don't, let me know. And I'll see you on the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.